Good morning, everyone. I um, would like to uh, say a big thank you to the uh, ITI Australia group. Uh, it's, um, uh, for me, a great honor to be here today. It's my first time in this part of the world. And so far, I, I am enjoying it very much. Um, we will have a um, series of presentations, and I was asked to give five during these two days, five short ones. Um, so, and I tried to make a, to make a, a sequence of them. Uh, so what I would propose is that I will follow these uh, uh, presentations and I will give you all the conclusions at the end. Uh, so that means that you need to stay all day tomorrow and all, uh, all day today and all day tomorrow as well. So um, the first one, it's about the, uh, uh, digital planning, and I, we can put the lights down, please. Um, uh, digital implant treatment planning. And, and this is a, a, a very interesting topic. Um, we um, can address this topic in two different ways. First one, we can go into the um, uh, philosophical uh, approach of treatment planning. How many implants? Where do you place the implant? How many... Uh, uh, Pontic units, units, screw retain, and all that, but I'm going to leave that aside, and I'm going to focus on, on the uh, modality of treatment planning with digital technology. So what you will see in this first lecture is, is uh, a step-by-step -step approach on doing your treatment planning in the same way that you will do it with uh, models and articulators and all that, um, but in a digital fashion.